Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cypherek. It's I was gonna come up with a witty intro, but I guess not. So, anyways, we're back here on Borderlands 2, and of course, with another episode of Cypher Stories, episode nine. And I know the other day I did miss an upload. I do apologize, guys. I thought I had uploaded, and when I was on my way to work, you know, I thought about it, but I didn't have any of the information to put in, like, the description, the tags, and I cannot even add annotations, so I do apologize. I did miss an upload. I'm going to try not to, like, I'm really going to try not to miss an upload, because I actually do enjoy doing this particular series on my channel so anyways we're on episode 9 and I do I got I got some funny stories to two funny stories to tell today's episode but you know I'm feeling really good because at the time of recording this I actually have the next tomorrow off and I do not have to babysit my nephews I love them to death but they literally driving me crazy so anyways my first story we're going to start off so yesterday I uh, I uh, talked about you know the capacity to be able to stand the smell of like stuff that's just awful like the ability to stand it and not get freaked out or you know act like a girl so anyways this is kind of like one another another sick story so last week you know this didn't affect me directly but you know there are several people witnessed to this so this is this is very true anyways so last week, uh, one of my uh, teammates, team team members, they they work up at guest service, and part of guest service is checking the bathrooms, make sure they're still clean. Mostly, I mean, you can't really clean everything, especially with people coming in, pissing and shitting constantly. So, anyways, you know, he would do check, make sure everything was all right, and. So on and so forth. Me, I was in the back room throwing away my my trash and sorting all my stuff. So I ran into my team, uh, another team member, who was taking the defect items to the uh, the dumpster to throw them away. Anyways, he started telling me a story. He goes, um, he goes. When you, like, take a shit, he goes, has it ever, like, hurt? Because it was, like, a gigantic fucking shit. I'm like, actually, I have before at school. You know, it was, it was funny. It hurt. But, you know, kind of hilarious in my opinion. He goes, well, he's like, I don't really care about your story. He goes, I guess literally took a shit in there. This thing is fucking huge. He goes, I cannot flush the damn toilet. He's like, well, I can flush it, but the shit will not, like, go down the fucking drain. Like, this shit is stuck. That's how fucking big this is. He goes, we've, <laughs> he goes, I flushed this bitch ten times in a row, and it's still not going. He goes, it, it's clogging the toilet. And it's, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, you're fucking shitting me. And the reason why I bring this up, and it's not because, like, that's the end of it. When I left work today, like, somehow it got brought up. And the way this went was, uh, they started talking about something, and they this, somehow this got brought up. Like, the guy, we have uh, a team member from another store come and help out at our store every Monday. Like, he closes every Monday for us right now. And they start talking about this. And it got further into it, like, what they were talking about. <laughs> you know, the one guy that comes every Monday? He was like, yeah, this thing was like a fucking brick. Like, this thing 
it looked like someone literally made this at home, brought it in and sealed it, and they just fucking dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> and then they're talking about, you know, someone had to have been in so much paint afterwards because this shit was fucking massive. Then the team member that told me, he goes, yeah, he goes, I told him that he should have fucking tried to get a stick and break it so he could flush it down the toilet because that was just, that was fucking ridiculous. I can't believe, like, you know, someone could shit that out. Like, he goes, there should have been blood in the toilet, on the toilet, around the toilet, whatever. That looked fucking painful. <laughs> and while they're telling this, like, there's, uh, <laughs> there are some females, they're like, wow. <laughs> they're like, we don't want to heal this, like, why would you say something like this? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's fucked up. It really is truly fucked up. And I find it humorous because I have a fucked up sense of humor. So, you know, I would say, you know, if you have an experience like that, you know, share it in this com fucking comment section, but no one, no one talks about that shit. No one seriously talks about when they've taken a shit that split their asshole in two. No one, no one does that. Like, come on now. So, <laughs> that's pretty fucked up. Like, I, I could, oh man. <laughs> Oh. And, uh, let's move on from that. That, I gotta take a second, cause that, <laughs> that still, that still makes me laugh. Now, this story, I'm gonna say this story is fucked up on multiple, uh, multiple levels. And you, you might catch it why I say that. But this this one is pretty funny. This isn't so disgusting. So anyways, yesterday, well actually it was yesterday morning in fact, a guest, uh, she drove up to Target. And she called the store and she said, hi, uh, I was wondering if I could get some Starbucks brought out to me. You know, I have a child that is sick and I don't want to take him into the store and I don't want to have to get out of my car. Cause he's sick, so I was just wondering if I could uh, get someone to come out here take my order. I can give them the money, and then they can go pay for it. So, you know, they done it. They done all that. They got the order, brought the order, brought her change back, and you know, the person went inside. Well, apparently the guest wasn't paying attention or was just too stupid, and she drove into one of the big red balls in front of the store. <laughs> How the fuck do you do this? Like, these balls are literally ginormous. Like, what kind of fucking stupid do you have to be to do such a thing? It's... it's yeah, that might be cruel, because her car, it left like a giant ball-shaped dent in her car, and she was freaking out. But, it's fucked up on multiple levels. Not because, you know, oh, I'm laughing at her because she, she wrecked her car. That's her own damn fault. I don't give a shit. But she said she had a sick child. Why would you take your sick child out into public? Like, why would you even take, like, like, leave home with a sick child? What kind of dumb fuck are you? Seriously. My child's sick. Can you come bring me my Starbucks? You don't need no goddamn Starbucks. Get your, like, take care of your fucking kid. That's your responsibility. You don't need a fucking Starbucks. And it's, it's true. If you haven't seen it, like, there's, there's, like, memes on the interwebs talking about, you know, white girls can't function without their Starbucks. You know, that's because they become so fucking dependent on it that they think they have to have it to function, which is complete fucking bullshit. It's all bad for you. But it's funny because... She's stupid enough to drag a child out here. Like, if your child's sick, you shouldn't be there getting fucking Starbucks. You deserve to run to that fucking ball. And she started freaking out. And people inside, they were laughing because they thought that shit was funny. Like, seriously. She got her Starbucks, which they broke the rule. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to ring it. Like, they're supposed to go inside and ring up the, uh, the order at the register. But the person, being the kind person they are, decided to take them Starbucks. So, 
I guess in the end, you know, they got what they deserved, even though I wouldn't have done it. I would have said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but we can't do that. It's against the rules. We would get in trouble, possibly get fired. And in that case, they'd probably be like, I want to speak to the store manager, blah, blah, blah. But I wouldn't risk my ass for some stupid bitch like that. So, yeah, guys, it's, uh, you know, a fucked up story and a funny story, kind of. Just a messed up story, I guess. Wait, what do you expect? Like, this is Target. It, I love working at Target. Don't get me wrong. I love working at Target. It's never a dull moment at Target. And they are, like, the Target to work at, you know, the management team is really nice. They help out a lot. They're actually there for me and, like, what a lot of companies say but they don't do so I am very appreciative for the opportunity to pursue a career at Target so I believe that's gonna be the end of the video guys I wanna thank you guys for watching it means a lot and I am like I, uh, I don't know if I've stated this previously I would like to think I have but I would like to try to upload one of these videos every day uh, I'm trying to follow some advice that a fellow YouTuber told me, where he says upload videos every day, you know, put out constant content, so that it shows that, you know, it's, you're, you're dedicated to the channel, like, you're dedicated to trying to bring more content to entertain people, even if you don't think you're funny, someone else might think you are funny, so, this is... You know, this is just to try to make sure I have content on the channel. I have neglected it for like the last month or so. And that is my fault. Because I, uh, honestly, I focus so much on everything else and just kind of put this on the back burner. But this has kind of formed who I am in life, even though it's like, well, it's the internet. But some of the people I've met on the internet are a lot nicer than the people I've met in real life. So, you know, you, you take everything how you want to. That's just, that's basically it. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you would like to, feel free to leave a like or dislike the video. It doesn't matter to me. And if you would like to see more, feel free to comment below. I was thinking about expanding cypher stories from just my uh, experiences at work to also like things that happen here at my house or out in public because granted some days I'm not going to work and I would like to try to upload every day so you know if you guys would be interested in something like that then feel free to let me know I would appreciate the feedback it to help me uh you know with whether i want to try it or not so i hope you guys have a good day have a good night whenever you watch this i'm going to be trying some new things on my channel soon it's just having the time to do so without as much as i've been working but anyways i thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later take care goodbye